still wondering how that kid is yours. Because you remember on that fateful day, that fateful Saturday, you pulled out or you always keep pulling out. It hasn't happened before. And so she comes back to tell you that I'm pregnant and you're wondering how. But I pulled out that day and it becomes a quarrel. She gives birth. You go for a DNA test and the kid is really yours. How is that even possible? Well, you see, you are trying or you practice the method called the pull out method. Okay. That is when, when you are about or you are almost getting near to come. All right. When your sperms are almost bursting out, you pull out away from the lady. So whatever you, 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 um, you come into, that's none of anybody's business. Okay. That was the method you were practicing. But then here we are. I'm not saying that the pull out method is not effective. If you do it correctly, it can be so effective. But per my research, um, in every hundred, um, couples or in every hundred or thousands of people who try to use this pull out method for eventually get pregnant or 40 eventually get pregnant. So I always advise people that if you want to try the pull out method, the most effective way is to use a condom as part of it. So even though you're practicing the pull out method, you're still having a condom on. It could burst at any time. So just imagine this scenario. You, you have, you're you having a condom on, right? And you're still practicing the pull-out method. So while you're yet to come, you just pull out, which is 100%. In fact, 1,000% safe. But you all will never listen because you think you're what? <laughs> Well, hi loves and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and leave your comments, right? Do not forget to like, please share, because it might help someone else or if not you, someone else. But I know you are here because this information might be important to you. I mean, that was why you clicked on this um, thumbnail or on this title because you want more information on the pull out method and that's a good thing you're learning and that's good mm -hmm. my name is aj and this is ages world adult content on ages world so today we're going to be talking about the pull out method how effective is it is it is it 100 percent effective can it get you pregnant can you you know i know people have all these questions i i wish it was a live right now to answer some of you or some of your questions but unfortunately it's just a video but don't worry don't worry don't worry so um how effective is the pull out method i would say that it's not like 100 percent effective as i said from the beginning it could be effective if if it's paired with the right thing or you do it correctly even doing it correctly is still not a hundred percent effective or assured that it wouldn't happen the thing is the pulling out method can be very hard to do especially if it's your first time you might feel like it's just when you're about to come then you just pull out to avoid pregnancy sweetheart it doesn't work that easily you might think oh i pulled out but probably you pulled out too late and that is why she's pregnant for you or that is why both of you are in this situation so to me i'd say that it's pretty hard to learn or it's pretty hard for a first timer to do the only way you can be assured that you pulled out the right way or correctly is the moment you feel that tingly sensation that that sperm is going to come out you pull out and do the rest by yourself i know some ladies or some people would actually make it seem like it's not romantic enough to like come a pull out all right some people so some girls might have a problem with it but sweetheart it's for your own safety it's for your own good unless of course you're married and you know that you are ready or you're dating your boyfriend or whatever you know that you are ready then you can risk it and also let me say this the pull out method doesn't stop stds STIs. No. 
just because you pulled out doesn't mean that you are you you actually escape that hiv ace that syphilis that gonorrhea that chlamydia no it's actually not safe when it comes to that part okay so if you think because you pulled out you don't have hiv please go get tested i'm not scaring you but it actually doesn't keep you from getting an sti but then again i understand why you guys are so eager to use that method or understand why you guys feel comfortable using that method one because you do not have to take a pill i mean the ladies wouldn't have to take a pill in as much as we all hate taking pills including me right we can't run away from it if we keep having unprotected sex so anytime you have um or anytime you have sexual intercourse pull out meta to be precise and you're not too sure please take a pill but then again you can't keep taking pills after pills like every single day if you have intercourse every single day you can't keep taking pills every single day so that's when the birth control comes in which not is like not everybody right is interested in the birth control to then abstain or use a condom simple as that someone might say that um the pull out method doesn't have any side effects well the side effect is always not like assured but we all can understand readily and freely that the side effect could be when you are in your house and you are enjoying and your lady comes in and says she's pregnant but you have no idea when you release into her that is the actual side effect but apart from that i think it's free and ready available you don't have to go and buy any anything anywhere i mean there's no prescription for pull out method okay you can do it when you want to do it anywhere wherever right so it's i feel like even though it's not a hundred percent effective you can still practice it but i would advise that anytime you use a pull out method and you feel like you are not satisfied you're gonna go for like the a next round please make sure that you 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 pull out every sperm that is out like inside of you pull them out make sure that there's no sperm it, it just takes one like one out of the many sperms to impregnate a lady so make sure that you clean the sperm from the tip of your pee make sure you pee it out you clean whatever you have to clean before you go for the next round because the fact that you made um you pulled out in the first round away from the um jj right and you did your own thing doesn't mean that in the second round there's not one type like one little sperm at the tip of your pee that will show you that it's a shaggy you get it so please let be mindful i'm not saying that um it's not a hundred percent effective but if um we are able to do it correctly or to attach it with other um important things that helps us um prevent pregnancy like the condom the birth control the pills the what have you then i feel like we'll be 100 percent assured and secured okay so this is what i have for you today it's actually really short because there's not much to say i'm just wanting to make you aware of it so do not forget to subscribe like and leave your comment once again my name is aj and you my bestie is watching ages world bye